Sanders and welcome to the first Dinner by Eight Side Show. By now hopefully you have seen the four episodes that we created and posted on YouTube, the first four contestants of the Dinner by Eight cooking competition. They were fantastic. We had Todd Chase, we had Sydney Moore, we had Harrison Kenny and Cash Thomas and they all really gave it their best and Chef Brent threw them a menu that was a huge challenge and we had a lot of fun. And we're looking for two more contestants to finish out that season. And then we're going to bring three teams of two together for a final competition that's going to be off the charts. The, the task is going to be uh, very challenging and it should be a lot of fun. But these sideshows are different than the cooking competition. What these are, are me teaching you how to cook something that I know how to cook. I'll bring guest chefs in from around Phoenix, from all over the United States and hopefully abroad. I know quite a few chefs here in Phoenix and I'm hoping through my network that we can get things to really blossom out and get people in here to teach you how to cook something for your family. Because that's what this is about. This is about cooking. It's about learning how to cook something and having fun. And so what we're going to do is bring people in. They'll teach you how to cook their specialty just the way they cook it in their restaurant. We'll take the recipe, I'll put it up online for you and it will be there. We'll take these live streams that we're doing and we'll, I'll condense them down for a more accessible tutorial and it'll be there for you. No charge, free. Okay, we just hope that you watch the show and enjoy the channel. So what we're here to do this morning is cook chicken noodle soup. If you haven't already guessed by all this stuff on the counter and these fine jars of soup that you can see over here, we're going to be cooking some chicken noodle soup. So why do I start out with chicken noodle soup? I love to cook soup. I love to cook chicken noodle soup. I think it is the absolute healthiest thing that you can do for your body, bar none, okay? Let's go over some of the benefits of chicken noodle soup. I'll show you real quick here. Um, the soup is very simple. You've got carrot, onion, celery, Italian parsley, noodles. I use this Fideo cut noodle. This is an American beauty fine cut Fideo noodle. You'll see it's a, just a skinny little guy. You can probably see it in the jars. This one's empty because I actually cooked a batch last night that is represented here in these jars. And as a matter of fact, I'm getting kind of hungry. I think we'll have a little bit of breakfast and we'll take this opportunity to switch back to one of our cameras behind here and I'll show you what we've got going on. So I will just do the whole jar. I'm pretty hungry. Okay. Come on now, guy. Of course, right when we're live, the burner decides to not start. And there we go. Okay. We'll keep an eye on him. Having a little bit of a technical difficulty over here because my studio doesn't want to switch back to the proper camera. There, I think we'll have luck now. Okay, so sorry about that. I use a thing called OBS Studio to bring this to you, and I'll tell you more about that later. But what we were going to do is we were going to go talk about the benefits of chicken noodle soup. Okay, take a look here. Vitamin C from the carrots. This is what carrots have in them. And you get immuno uh, function and healing, bone health, okay? Uh, blood pressure, cardiovascular health, diabetes control, digestive health, cancer prevention, vision aid. There's a lovely bunch of, bunch of carrots there. And the benefits of eating carrots are just indisputable. Some people think the carrots some people think of carrots as the ultimate health food, while generations of parents have told their children that eating carrots will help them see in the dark. Is this true? We don't know. But other benefits 
What other benefits may carrots have? It lists them all here for you. So the next thing is, we have to keep switching back. Celery, okay? Celery is very rich in vitamin K, C, potassium, folate, manganese, calcium, riboflavin, magnesium, and vitamin six, all of which are nutrients that our bodies need in order to function. Written right there on Google, okay? How can you dispute it? You can't, because Google said it. All right, look at this, onions. Onions, big benefits. They're packed with nutrients, heart health, antioxidants. They contain cancer-fighting compounds. They'll help control blood sugar. They may boost bone density. They have antibacterial properties, and they may boost digestive health, okay? And they're also very easy to add to your diet, it says. The next thing on the list, Parsley, okay, parsley is huge in antioxidants. You can go ahead and Google parsley and check out what's there, but it's just all there for you to see. Okay, we're switching nicely now. So pepper, we've got salt and pepper in here. Pepper has huge benefits to the body. It's high on antioxidants. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It says it may benefit your brain. <laughs> Let's eat lots of pepper, okay? The next thing that we've got here is um, we're talking about not something that's uh, supposed to be on this screen, I think. I think it skipped ahead on us because it is, after all, just the internet. But um, the salt, it says right here, the salt is absolutely crucial to our diets, just not too much, okay? It's got uh, electrolytes that the body needs, and of course, you can research salt. Chicken, okay, you get a lot of protein in your chicken, not much fat. You get, we're going to get quite a bit of fat actually from this soup. Okay, we can make it low fat, and I'll show you how to make it low fat. But the biggest thing about the soup is the stock, okay? The soup stock. It says right here, because broth is lower in calories, it may be preferred for those who are trying to limit their calorie intake. You get a lot of pack and punch out of, uh, uh, of just a little bit of soup stock. It's got uh, an incredible amount of nutrients, collagen, marrow, amino acids, and minerals. And these may help protect the digestive tract, improve sleep, and support joint health. Now, I can attest to all those things because I eat this soup all the time, okay? Now, let's take a look at our soup back on the burner. It's doing pretty good, all right? Let's do that, and then we'll turn it down. And we'll come on back to the A camera, okay? So we have the A camera. We have the B camera. Both of these are Canon 80D DSLRs, okay, that's a 80D DSLR, okay? I've got several two or uh, three and five megapixel cameras around the house. We have two iPhones that we use, okay? We have this iPhone one, which is back here on this back counter, and we can take this and we'll be able to move it around and check out food and get some nice shots of, of what we're cooking. Okay, we can go ahead here and see what's on the bench back here. We've also got another iPhone. These are both iPhone 7s, and it's over at the sink, which is where we are going next, okay? We need to take all these vegetables and this chicken, and we need to put it in the cast iron Dutch oven and stick it in the oven, okay? The oven's been preheating to 350 degrees, this chicken that I got here, I got this chicken for $4.99 at Safeway. It was on sale. Totally psyched because chickens are normally $9 or $10, which is fine. It's a bargain still. You know, if you buy a $10 chicken, $10, $11, $12 chicken with the rest of your vegetables and everything, easily you've got an entire pot of soup for $15, okay? And these jars that you see on the counter here, these four plus the one that I put in and plus a bowl that I had last night. So there was actually about six jars that came out of it. Um... And this was only half the batch because what I did was this package of noodles was only half full. So I made a half batch of the chicken noodle soup that I'm going to make now. And I reserved the rest of the chicken vegetable soup to make chicken and dumplings, which my son absolutely loves. Same exact recipe. You just take Bisquick, two thirds of a cup of Bisquick, third of a cup of milk, 
mix it up, you do the dumplings in at the end, you have to be very careful with the dumplings to make sure that they don't completely disintegrate. I'll teach you that one another time, but <clears throat> it's very versatile. If you make this soup stock, you can take it, freeze it, use it for your pan sautés, pasta sauces, use it to make any other kind of soup you want, use it to make a black bean soup, use it to make a split pea soup. Um, you, you can just use it for anything at all. It's just the, the nutrients. I can't tell you enough, this soup is the best thing in the world for you. If you're not feeling well and you eat this soup, you will feel better. If you're feeling well and you eat this soup, it'll keep you feeling strong. Okay, I've been eating this soup my entire life. I'm a bit bigger. Uh, my blood pressure is perfect. All my levels are perfect. I eat healthy, okay? Maybe work on the portion control, but that's another story. So, it's 6 a.m. We're still having a little coffee. A note on parsley. This is Italian parsley. If all you can get is regular parsley, uh, it'll work. But um, I like the Italian parsley. Uh, this one seems a little bit a regular parsley, um, whether you get it dried in a container like this, which are fantastic, um, or uh, in the bunch is a little bit more bitter than the Italian parsley. So I like the Italian parsley. But so without further ado, let's put this chicken into the um, cast iron Dutch oven and get it into the oven, okay? We'll leave the parsley here. We'll bring all this stuff over here and we'll move our chicken. And it's really pretty simple. We just open this guy up. The biggest thing that's going to take time over here is rinsing this chicken off, which is absolutely essential always. You probably all know that, but it never can be stated enough. Now look, this chicken has the heart and the gizzard and the liver, and I always just discard that stuff. And there's no neck in this chicken. That's maybe why it was five bucks. Hey, we got, uh, we got no neck in the chicken. I throw the neck in the chicken when I'm in the pot, when I'm roasting it, okay? A lot of meat on that neck, a lot of flavor, but the gizzard and the heart and everything else, not good for the soup, okay? So we just put that chicken in there, and we take our carrots, we can stuff these things down the middle if we want, we just have to make room in the pan, all right? So we've got this onion, and we don't have to be too gingerly. We can even put this in here with some of the skin on it because all of this vegetable is going to get discarded. Now what I'll normally do is I'll take the butt of the celery and put it in there because you don't really use it in the soup. But I've already done this. For some reason, the end cap on the celery is gone. And that's it. So celery, onion, carrot, put your top on. We're going to go ahead here and stick it in the oven. And I'll show you a shot of that. And then we're going to come back to the A camera. So welcome back. We've got our parsley still sitting here. That will go in later. The salt and the pepper. We didn't need to put any salt and pepper in the stock itself. And so now what I could do is I could tell you a little bit more about the show, why I cook soup, how I got started cooking soup. So one of the fun things that we're going to do is open the show up to callers. You'll be able to call in on our 800 number and talk to us over a speakerphone on a Polycom uh, IP phone that I have. And we also have a Zoom-like type meeting system that we use and you'll be able to contact us on that. So what you'll do is you'll go to meet.dinnerby8.com and you'll join the meeting and we'll have a screener there. This is a meeting screen with nobody in it. And then we'll put you right up there and you'll be on YouTube. So you have to agree to be on the YouTube channel, but we can have a conversation right here. And let's do this because what we have is we have Look at that. So what we can do is we um, can take multiple cameras and put them together. So we'll um, probably leave me here, leave the, the guest chef here, and you can call in, and whether it's Chef Walter or Chef Tony, Chef Chris, um, Chef Brent, 
Of course, we're not going to forget about Chef Brent. He is the show's executive chef. Now, forever and always. We love Chef Brent. How you doing, Chef Brent? Chef's busy making the McBrasserie go. He's got a great success with his new restaurant, the McBrasserie. We talked about it in the first episode with Todd Chase. I think we referenced it in the Harrison Kenny show. And uh, I just can't say enough about Chef Brent. And if you're ever in Scottsdale, Phoenix, look up the McBrasserie in McCormick Ranch. Get out there and try some of his food and drinks. It's a great place, wonderful patio, just a great place to go. Uh, he's not paying me to say that, by the way. <clears throat> we have no sponsors, anything we do here. Uh, <clears throat> is just by the goodness of our own heart. And that's what it is, you know, the heart here. We're here to cook, we're here to teach you how to cook. We're here to, um, you know, learn the language of love here. You know, cooking is just the way that we nourish ourselves and nourish those whom we love. And I love to cook this soup. I'll tell you, my kid loves this soup. I told you he loves the chicken and dumplings. My daughter loves this soup. Uh, everybody I know loves this soup. And I just can't tell you enough that if you make this soup and you feed it to your family, it will make them healthy, okay? It's two days after Halloween right now, and the kids probably need some soup. So let's make some soup, okay? We can't do anything right now because the thing is roasting in the oven. We're going to roast that chicken for one hour at 350 degrees and then turn the oven off and let it coast. Sometimes I like to let the chicken coast for four, five, six hours in the oven, covered, and then bring it out. It's easier to debone like that, okay? It's, um, and also not quite so hot. You're going to see when we move to the next segment uh, at eight o'clock this morning, when we come back, that we have to put some water in the chicken to cool it down, otherwise we'll burn our little fingers when we try to debone it. But in the interest of time and television, that's what we need to do, okay? But there's a number of different ways you can do this. You can put it in at midnight, cook it for an hour, make sure the oven goes off, set your timer, stay up, make sure the oven does go off before you go to bed. We don't want to have any houses burned down and uh, get up in the morning and debone it and then start the stock process. So, okay, so what we got now is we have our A camera and our, um, it's called a Jitsi meeting actually. And, um, you know, I think I've shown you about everything. We've got a large diaphragm condenser microphone above here and uh, it picks up things very nicely. I'll go ahead and take this iPhone and walk around the studio and show you what we've got. Look at there. Okay, we've got some LED lighting hanging from the ceiling and uh, another guy hanging down there. At the sink, you can see I've mounted this LED light on the wall here and we've got the sink camera. Okay, I've mounted the A camera up here, you can see. And it hangs down quite nicely and I've got this big 60 inch screen. Well, you didn't see any of that, did you? because I forgot to change the camera. Let's go ahead and uh, change the camera around. So what we've got here is we've got our stove view. Oh, the soup is looking good, okay? We're about ready to uh, cut camera here and uh, I'll be having some soup for breakfast. We've got the sink area over here and I've mounted this LED light on the wall as you can see. And here is the other iPhone on a tripod. I've got this big 60 inch monitor right in front of me so I can see what's going on. And you can see over there, the right hand screen shows what's being switched out to YouTube. And there's a preview screen there. Uh, here's another monitor that belongs to the system. That's showing the Jitsi meeting. And I've got a little a Windows workstation over there. Look at here, the B camera I've got mounted up on this wall with a Manfrotto magic arm, okay? Got the Fender guitar, if you're really nice to me, I might play a song, okay, when you call in, but I don't know. I do a pretty mean Bob Seger night moves. There's the table where guests will eat. Okay, you saw that table in the cash money show. And so here we'll come back to the main work area and return to the A camp, okay? So that's pretty much the kitchen studio. I built this whole thing here for you. Uh, and we've got a couple of computers and servers back here doing all the work and we can go more into the system later on but people seem to like the technology so that's why we gave you the little trip around the world I hope you enjoyed it and uh, for now we're gonna go ahead 
and leave you with some salsa music and put the soup in a bowl and uh, have some breakfast. So, hey, I want to thank you for tuning in. It just means a tremendous amount. And um, let's make some soup. Thanks again. Let's see how we did. Let's go ahead and so this is last night's soup. And you can see there we've got some nice fats on the top. Beautiful noodles, carrots, celery, onion, parsley. It's a little bit hot right now. So, but I'll tell you what, that's a bowl of health right there. That's a bowl of health, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back at 8 o'clock live streaming again to do the next segment, which will be separating the meat from the bones and starting the uh, soup stock making process. After that, we'll be back and uh, about uh, probably seven o'clock, and I'll show you how to prepare the soup, and we'll eat it by eight o'clock, and it will be dinner by eight. Thanks again for tuning in.